Hello everybody, today we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and we have got the most expensive rifle in the entire game in our hands right now. We're going to be testing it out and seeing if it really is worth the massive price tag of, if I'm not mistaken, around 90 to 100,000. Don't remember the exact number, but I know it's around 100k, which is really ridiculous for a rifle in this game. Especially for one with so many limitations, and today we're going to go through all the complaints about this rifle that I commonly see, and see if those complaints are justified. The number one thing I see people complain about all the time with the 470 is the fact that you can only have one sight on it. This one right here, the Marksman Exact Sight. There's no ability to put any type of full-size scope on this rifle, which makes it so the range is very limited. You cannot take super long range shots, and that also brings us to the next con for it, is the fact that max zero distance is 150. You can only cycle between 50, 100, and 150 meters, which is not exactly ideal, as you guys could imagine. Considering there's a lot of other rifles that go up to class nine that can go clear up to 300 plus meters, like the 300 Magnum or the 338. But we are going to test today if this gun is still uh, worth using, despite all of those downsides that we just mentioned. Because, from what I remember, this thing does actually pack a punch, but the question is, do you want to uh, deal with all the trade-offs just to get a little bit of extra power? And that was not a good shot, but that one did seem to be a hit right there. Actually, it, neither of those were hits, even though the second one kind of looked like it should have been. We're going to go for one more right here. I mean, those were both hits. The question is, were they vitals? I'm going to go out on a limb and say no. And <laughs> what what are these do? What are these lions doing? This is I don't know what I'm looking at. I mean they both died. The question is do we even get vitals? We're a little bit further away than I've shot lions with this before at, so I I, I guess that could have been vitals, but if it was, that's kind of disappointing. I'm hoping that we somehow hit the spine there or something. Oh, but that is looking like vital blood. Yeah, that's vital blood. In fact, that was double lung liver already. The price tag is, is not looking like it's justified. I mean, it's possible that this thing loses a ton of damage output at farther than 100 meters, but man, that is not looking good so far. Well, that is not what I expected to see as the very first Cape Buffalo that we spot today. You know, I had, a, I had a whole thing prepared on what I was going to say when we found some Cape Buffalo, and that has all gone out the window now because we spotted a legendary. Well then, I, I guess we got to take that thing down now. Well, anyway, let's see if I can remember what I was going to say. Um, I, I guess we were just going to talk about uh, some more of the uh, complaints about the 470 and some of the things that I do think are actually kind of good about it. So I guess we could go over those as we're stocking up on this thing. I think we've already gone over a lot of the main complaints that I've seen people have with the 470 and also that I've kind of had in the past as well. Uh, it's lack of distance for the zeroing, it's massive amounts of bullet drop and damage fall off whenever you get to further ranges than about 100 meters. But some of the things that I do think it's actually pretty good for is close range Cape Buffalo hunting and also Cape Buffalo defense. And that can also go for water buffalo as well, but since we're hunting the capes, uh, we're going to be talking about the capes. I actually do think it's a fun rifle to use for them, so we're going to go ahead and try to take this guy down from about 150 since that is what we did with the lions and we're going to see how it does on them. Cape Buffalo are known for being pretty tough, so... This guy should... Tank this pretty well, unfortunately, and I mean, right now, he's not even losing any HP, and it makes me question if I even hit the vitals. I think either way, we will get a chance to hit the vitals here, because he is charging right at us. So let's go ahead and reload and see if we can get a shot into him that actually does hit the vitals. That should be good right there. That is a nice vital hit. And this is one of the purposes that this gun actually uh, does pretty well with. It's really good for defense. If you got charging buffalo, this thing will take them down. And it took down that level 9 nicely. It's been a bit since we've seen a level 9k buffalo. But those horns are not looking promising at all. This is definitely small horns. There's a high chance this won't make it. Yep, that's exactly what happened. It did not make it. But as you can see, first shot did not have the penetration. 
So that is a Cape Buffalo issue, if I'm not mistaken. Cape Buffalo are kind of just tough and very inconsistent with uh, being able to get vitals. We'll have to test it out on some more and see if it does better, but that close shot just ripped right through it. So that, I guess, does show just how bad the, uh, the penetration and damage drop-off is at distance. It just loses so much energy at the far ranges. We are going to try to get a little bit closer on this one. I want to do a 100 meter shot and try to get a perfect lung hit. Now, it is going to be kind of difficult because he's quartering a little bit, but I think this actually should be pretty good. Let's see if we can just... That should be a solid hit. I mean, I would imagine it's a solid hit. He, he disappeared, though. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's going down. And he is officially dead. That is pretty wild. Now the question is, did we get any of these to attack? I, I don't think we did, but maybe we can still shoot one of them. Oh, that one's aggressive. Well, let's go ahead and just uh, break out the buffalo defense sites. There we go. That will be a dead buffalo. Nice. I mean, the penetration is just unmatched at close range. I, I really do feel like the 470 is primarily a buffalo defense rifle. It, it, that's really its best uh, feature is the... Well, I, I guess I wouldn't even call it a feature. It's its best use scenario is in defense against buffalo and stuff like that. And to be honest, you could probably bring this with you for wolf defense if you don't care about messing them up. And it would probably do fine. I mean, that really seems to be its strongest point is... Close range defense. Let's see what it did to this Cape Buffalo at 100 meters, though. That is going to be a double lung liver hit, so it does pretty good if you're at about 100 meters or less, it seems. Because it definitely did not do this good at 150 meters, and, I mean, it killed the Lions even slower than it did this Cape Buffalo, uh, just with a 50 meter difference, so that's pretty substantial. I definitely would recommend going 100 meters or less whenever you're using this thing if you do decide to take the leap and spend almost a hundred grand or around a hundred grand on this gun. You know, we gotta do it just for fairness sake. I, I gotta know if that 150 meter shot had a little bit of bugginess happening with uh, just the strange placement of the shot because it did look like it was a little bit far forward. So we'll try again. We gotta make sure it doesn't move as I shoot though. That would definitely throw the shot off. All right, let's try it again. That should be good. If that was going to hit uh, vitals, then that would be the shot that would do it. If it even can reach the vitals at that distance. And it looks like it did. It definitely reached the vitals. And we got another one charging us. So once again, going to use this thing in its best possible scenario. As I, I do think this is the best use for the 470. Though, I'm going to try something. In the past, I've been able to Texas hard shot stuff, or at least hit the vitals from behind. And it looks like you still can. That is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy that you can shoot a Cape Buffalo through the butt and hit the vitals. Now, I don't know if it has the uh, reach to get heart. Um, it definitely doesn't look like it, though I did go through the tail, so maybe if I hadn't hit the tail, it would be able to. But, uh, that's pretty crazy. I mean, there's- there's no denying. The penetration is absolutely insane at close range. Love how I completed a, uh, a by-the-book mission by- by shooting a Cape Buffalo through the butt, you know? <laughs> Amazing. Well, there's the one that we took a shot at from 150, and yeah, I mean, it barely got in there. Given that was a scapula hit, but still, I- I don't think it could have possibly got double lung. So this is uh, definitely going to be the outer limits of what you would ever want to do with this thing is 150. And I wouldn't recommend going past 100 if you truly want to take them down in a, in a quick time. Because, yeah, that's that's not great. I mean, 0% quick kill with a single lung at 150. Just uh, not ideal at all. Well, it looks like we have company once again. I was trying to sneak up, but I, I guess I wasn't really able to. I also was not able to get that hip fire like I would have liked. But you know what? It is what it is because the second shot connected. But I mean, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt quite a bit. And that tent will not heal me, so that's also a problem. Well, it looks like, once again, double lung shot 
absolutely smoked it as we expected it to. You know, it's very consistent at close range. It definitely is very, very, very consistent if you are within a few feet of your target, or in this case, 15 meters. Well, I've decided that since we are already out here, I might as well try to uh, refind all of my Cape Buffalo zones because I have not found them all since the last uh, reset they did here on Verhonga. So we're just going to run around, try to get a bunch to attack us and uh, use the 470 to its fullest potential. Oh, oh, I know what that is. Oh, my gosh. Well, I <laughs> oh, man, that's a guaranteed diamond right there. That is a big rack. Brown fur type K Buffalo. Wow, I didn't expect to find one, not let alone two. That is crazy. That's our second level nine of the day. Given we had to run like up the entire coast to get to the second one, the first one we found was in our first zone. That's crazy. I'm definitely curious to see how it's going to do on this guy. I'd like to get close and be able to get double lung, but I don't know how that's going to go. To be fair, though, I'm not too surprised to find a couple legendaries with a full sweep along the coast since they're not exactly the most uncommon level 9 in the game. They, they are very similar to something like a mountain lion where you do find a lot of level 9s, uh, but half of them troll. So it's not too out of the ordinary that we found a second one, but it's still really cool because it's been a while since we've took down some big cape buffalo. And to get two of them on our uh, first sweep through the coast, that's pretty crazy. Let's get them to go alert, and that will do nicely right there. They are about 100 meters away, which is perfect. Let's uh, put on the sight, and we will see if we can get it to go broadside so we can take a nice, clean shot on it. Oh, no. Well, this is going to mess things up for us. We're going to have to be very quick now. We don't want to mess him up, and we don't want to die also. This is not what I wanted to have happen. Oh, my gosh. I think we got it. I think that was a good hit. I could be wrong, but I think it was a good hit. Oh my gosh, it was a good hit. We got it. And we will still be able to survive and kill this guy, hopefully. There we go. We got him. Holy, that was insane. That was absolutely insane. What a way to take down a level 9. That was crazy. This guy decided to charge us. We had to dance around with him for quite some time while we waited for that thing to give us a good angle. Took a really risky shot and somehow managed to get it and take down the one that was chasing us at the same time. That's probably one of the wildest things that's happened to us as of recent in terms of like a quick diamond kills that we had to get where it was really easy to mess the shot up. And I mean, we've got even more Cape Buffalo over there. This coastline is just loaded. It's great to see that it's still as insane as it was like a year ago. Let's go ahead and claim this guy, though. That is a beautiful Cape Buffalo. That guy is definitely a big one. I believe 156 is the cutoff for Bighorns, so this guy's got to be at least 156. Let's see, though. What is he going to score? 157.53. That is a big boy right there. And definitely the trophy of the day. Wow, what a monster Cape Buffalo. What an absolute monster we have right here. You love to see it. That is so, so cool. And let's take a look at the damage. I mean, at 100 meters, absolutely demolished both lungs. So, yeah, I mean, at this point, I think we've had enough of a uh, test between different buffalo with this thing at different ranges that we've seen that 100 meters seems to be about the maximum you would want to go if you want to get double lung on something like a buffalo seems like any further than that you're probably just gonna get single lung and might not even make it into the vitals in some situations and then at super close range when they're attacking you it just absolutely demolishes them so 100 meters no more than that and preferably way less than 100 meters would be kind of the range you want to stick with for this gun but that is absolutely crazy we got one of the nicest K Buffalo trophies we could have asked for. The only thing that would have been better is if we had got a rare. I still don't have a leucistic. I still really badly want one. So, you know what? Maybe we'll start up a Cape Buffalo grind soon. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a Cape Buffalo grind. And also, let me know if you want us to do herd management or if you want it to be a no herd management grind. Because I want to get a leucistic and I'd like to get a big rare as well because I don't have any rares above level 7 and we don't have a leucistic one. So let me know in the comments if we should do a K Buffalo grind and if you want it to be herd management or no herd management. But overall, what do I think of this beautiful 
Beautiful. 470. Well, to be honest, it's not worth the money. I'll tell you that. It is not really worth the price tag that they've put on it. However, if you're looking for a gun that is kind of fun for close range and self-defense purposes, then you could definitely uh, dump the 100k or 90k or whatever it is on it, uh, provided you have the extra cash to do that with. But at that point, I mean, if you're using it for self-defense, you might as well just use the highest grain arrow of your favorite bow, because that will do just as well, if not better for the close range uh, defensive encounters with the buffalo. So overall, it is not worth the money at all. If you really want to make the most smart decisions and best purchases in this game, I don't recommend this gun. But if you've already got everything else and you got lots of extra cash and you want something fun to use, then it, it can be a fun option to take out onto Verhonga Savannah or Parque Fernando to chase after some buffalo. But thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you clicking on this video and watching it all the way through. If you guys haven't already, leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so and also hit that bell so that you guys will never miss any future videos as it's the only way that you're going to get notified when I post a video immediately. But thank you guys so much once again and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!